So for tonight's dinner, I'm making a quick beef and broccoli recipe that you make in your instant pot or pressure cooker. So I'm going to go ahead and bring you along and show you how I made that. So the first thing you want to do is select the saute mode on the pressure cooker. And I went ahead and sprayed mine with some cooking spray. And I also added in a half of a tablespoon of avocado oil. And then once your pot is hot, then you want to go ahead and add in your beef. I'm just using some steak strips that were already cut up for stir fry. Um, also, I forgot to show you guys, but you also add in some minced garlic. I did about four tablespoons of minced garlic. And you want to go ahead and cook that for a few minutes until it's nice and brown. You don't have to cook it all the way through, just make it all brown. And then I doubled the sauce recipe because I had extra broccoli, but that ended up being a mistake. So I'm just going to tell you the right ingredients for the sauce. So you want to do a half of a cup of beef broth. And I used the reduced sodium um, 99 or 90, I think it was 96% fat-free beef broth. And then I didn't have enough of both either coconut aminos or soy sauce to put in there. So I just did a mixture of both. But I'll tell you, it's lower points if you use soy sauce. But I did half soy sauce and half coconut aminos. So you need a half of a cup, basically, of soy sauce. Or if you want to use coconut aminos, you can use half of that. Or you can mix them like I did. And then you need a quarter cup of any kind of sweetener. I use the Swerve sweetener, which is erythritol. And then you want to go ahead and give that a good stir. Make sure your sweetener gets all nice and dissolved. And then go ahead and turn it off of the saute mode at this point. And you're going to want to go ahead and put your lid on, seal it up, make sure your little vent thing is turned off. And then you're going to cook this for 15 minutes on high pressure. So just use your manual mode, turn it on to high pressure and 15 minutes. And then while that is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and cook my broccoli. Now, I think they have you cook it in the microwave. That way you don't, it doesn't get too mushy in the pressure cooker, which, so I really liked this idea. So I went ahead and just put mine, I just had some fresh broccoli. I used about 24 ounces of broccoli, which was twice the amount in the recipe. And I'm just going to put that into a bowl, add a little bit of water to it, put a some plastic wrap on top, and just steam it in the microwave for about five or six minutes until it's nice and tender. Now, once my pressure cooker is all done, I'll manually release that pressure. And, you know, you guys have to be really careful with this because I don't know about you, but that stuff, sometimes it just comes flying out of there. Um, I'm going to take the lid off of my pressure cooker and you want to remove about a quarter cup of the liquid. And then you're going to take a tablespoon of cornstarch and you're going to go ahead and put that into your liquid and this is going to help thicken it up. So once you have that mixed together, go ahead and add that back to your pot and give it a good stir. And then you're going to turn it back onto saute mode, kind of let this sauce simmer for about five minutes to thicken it up. And then you're going to add in your broccoli. So then I added the broccoli into the pot stirred it to give it a good nice and coating with the sauce now you could also serve this with cauliflower rice but it actually didn't need it it was a nice hearty meal without it but you definitely could do that and that is one of the suggestions that it gives so here is the final product again mine was too saucy only because like i said i tried to double it thinking with the extra broccoli but it didn't really need to happen um, so if you're using coconut aminos and soy sauce, it's going to be seven smart points for a serving. But if you use just only soy sauce, it'll be six smart points. And this also will just depend on how much beef you have, what kind of beef you have. I had, like I said, like a beef round. So it was a little bit higher points. So it's totally up to you what kind of beef you use. And then your points are going to vary. So just use your recipe builder and put it in there. But this is a good recipe. It was a little bit sweet. So I do recommend maybe cutting down the sweetness I probably would cut the sweetener in half it was just a little bit too sweet for me and then also it definitely went double the thing again and it just wasn't it, that I think that's why I didn't get that thick but other than that it was a good recipe I definitely recommend it and let me guys let me know if you guys try it and I will talk to you guys soon bye guys